Howdy doody, boys and girls, and welcome to another edition of Storytime with Craig. On this installment, we're going to be discussing one of my favorite people in the whole wide world, one of my best buddies, you love him, I love him, we all love him, Dan. Also known as Dirty Shizno 13 on Xbox Live. You've seen him in plenty of my videos, he's been in plenty of my live streams, uh, he's usually the guy I go to when I need a co-op partner, he's just a great guy all around, he can't really do anything wrong, he's the bestest friend you could ever have, right? Well, usually, sometimes though... He's not above just going ahead and stabbing you right in the back, and we're going to get to that in a second. Now, the reason why I'm posting this video now is because in a few days, uh, this July 4th weekend, I'm actually flying out to Austin, Texas with Dan and our other friends, Payton and Mike, and we're all going to meet up uh, to go to RTX, the Rooster Teeth Expo, and hopefully fun times will be had, stories will be shared, drinks will be consumed, it'll be great. Now, this is actually not the first time I've met Dan in person. It'll be the first time I'm meeting Payton and Mike, but I've actually met Dan once before. Coincidentally enough, it was also in Texas. In 2008, uh, I believe it was 2008, a podcast that Dan and I both listened to called Nobody Likes Onions was having a fan meetup in Houston, Texas, where fans of the show and the hosts all get together and just kind of hang out, shoot the shit for three days, four days. And we decided to go because we're fans, and Nobody Likes Onions is also pretty much how Dan and I met. Uh, we listened to that show, and they did Xbox Live meetups, and we met in one of those, started talking, and we've been bestest friends ever since, who never betray each other, right, Dan? Nah! Anyway, so... <laughs> God damn it. So, uh, we went on this trip, and in all honesty, kind of wish I hadn't. Uh, I was very... I, I'm still socially awkward. I've gotten better, and I'd like to think my YouTube channel helped in that. But back then, I was I was much worse. Uh, I didn't talk whatsoever. I was just, uh, yeah, I was a social wreck, more so. And that whole meetup is the point is to socialize, and I'm not good at that. So I, it was just kind of awkward, and it was a waste of four days. So yeah, kind of regret going. However, there was one bright spot, and that was JB who was the co-host of Nobody Likes Onions at the time. He's a big, fat comedian, really funny, in his late 30s, early 40s. This guy is great. And the reason why I loved him is because every night we would meet up and hang out in a sports bar. And every night, JB would get drunk off his ass to the point of blackout. Like, he wouldn't remember a thing the next day. It was amazing. He'd hump people. He'd insult people. Uh, he'd make scenes at Waffle Houses. It was amazing. So, on such a night, we all get home from the bar at, like, 3 a.m. <clears throat> and we're all, we all split off and go to our hotel rooms. Dan and I, we were sharing a room at the time. And we're all ready for bed, and his phone starts a-ringing. And it's JB at 3.30 in the morning, and he wants to hang out. And <laughs> he's just rambling about the day, like, and saying Dan's great and all this stuff. And Dan, you know, it's 3 in the morning, so we all need to go to bed, so he politely tells JB no, and we're all gonna go to bed. And JB, before he hangs up, he says the words, oh, and tell Craig he's an awesome guy, great dude. And I felt really good. That felt really good to hear. Even if he was drunk and wasn't gonna remember it the next day, it was amazing, it put a smile on my face, felt real good, went to bed happy. So the next morning, all the fans and the hosts, we meet up in the hotel lobby. And JB, of course, doesn't remember a goddamn thing. So all of the fans are trying to, you know, tell him what he did. Like, oh man, it was Waffle House, you were doing crazy stuff, and you got on stage, and you were singing karaoke, and it was good fun times. And they're showing him pictures, and showing him videos, trying to jog his memory. And he's laughing along, like, oh man, that's crazy, I'm crazy when I'm drunk, right? And then Dan, they get to Dan, and he's like, yeah, and you called me last night at like 3.30 in the morning, and JB's like, no, I didn't shut up. He's like, yeah, you said this, 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 and this. And then I decide, because we're on the topic, to jump in and add my two cents. And I'm like, yeah, and you also said that I was an awesome guy. And JB's like, no, you, no, you I never said that, no way. And all the fans are like, no, he didn't say that, shut up, yeah, whatever, stop making stuff up. So I look at my bestest friend in the whole wide world, Dan, to help me out, to back me up to let them know that I'm not lying and trying to get attention and make it seem like I'm cool. I'm just, I just want him to help me out. Instead of any of that happening, I look at Dan, and time seems to slow down as I hear him say, yeah, I don't remember any of that. So, yeah, he just kind of threw me under the bus and did not correct himself. He never went back on that. I just looked at him with a look of, what? 
what are you do? Why would you do that? Why would you fucking betray me like that? And he admits he does. He's not. He never. He never lied to me about. It. He fully admits what he did. He knows that it was a shitty move. It was a terrible thing to do to a friend. And he's apologized profusely. But I never, I never let him forget it because it was a shitty thing to do. Backstabbing bastard. I bring it up every like three months. I have like a timer ready because that's so shitty, right, guys? What an ass. Isn't Dan an asshole? Fuck that guy. I just post in the comments, fuck that guy. Fuck Dan. He's an asshole. Thumbs up, like, favorite. See you next time. You, know, you don't you don't have to curse in your rapping. Will Smith proved you don't have to do that. So if you just <laughs> make, a, no make thing. it a little cleaner. No, oh, oh, For all you know, there could be kids in this room and you are exposing them to terrible things.